Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, just hinted that we might be standing on the edge of the singularity, a moment when AI surpasses human intelligence and starts shaping the future on its own. With OpenAI's latest breakthroughs, are we closer than anyone imagined? And what does Altman's cryptic message, near the singularity, unclear which side, really mean? The singularity is a concept that marks a turning point in human history, a moment when artificial intelligence surpasses human intelligence. At this stage, AI could begin to improve itself without human intervention, leading to advancements that are unpredictable and potentially beyond our control. It's the kind of leap that has fascinated scientists, futurists, and philosophers for decades. The term gained widespread attention thanks to futurist Ray Kurzweil, who predicted that this moment could arrive around 2045. However, with the rapid progress in AI technologies, many believe it might happen even sooner. The singularity represents two vastly different possibilities. On one side, it could bring incredible breakthroughs, curing diseases, solving complex global problems, and creating a new era of prosperity. On the other side, there's the risk of losing control over these systems, leading to consequences we might not be ready to handle. Sam Altman's recent tweet placed this concept in the spotlight once again. When someone at the forefront of AI innovation hints at the singularity, it's a signal that we may be closer to this pivotal moment than expected. OpenAI's work puts them at the center of this conversation, pushing boundaries and raising crucial questions about humanity's future with advanced AI. Altman's tweet hints at this game-changing moment. What did he mean? Sam Altman's tweet, near the singularity, unclear which side, is loaded with meaning, and every word seems to carry weight. The phrase unclear which side raises a big question. What exactly did he mean? For someone at the forefront of AI like Altman, it's a signal. One possible meaning ties into the simulation hypothesis, the idea that our reality might already be an advanced simulation created by a more intelligent civilization. Altman has hinted at this idea before, suggesting that the singularity could be linked to uncovering whether we're living in a constructed reality. If AI can create fully immersive, simulated worlds, it's worth asking, could someone else have done it first? Another interpretation focuses on the challenge of pinpointing the moment AI's takeoff begins. This is when AI systems start improving themselves without human guidance, accelerating progress at a speed that's hard to control. Altman's ambiguity reflects both hope and caution. It's the hope of breakthroughs that could transform society, and the caution of knowing these advancements might spiral faster than anyone expects. Altman's tweet, while brief, speaks directly to you and your future. It captures the tension of living in a world on the edge of something extraordinary and potentially unpredictable. OpenAI's breakthroughs are pushing us closer to answers about the singularity. OpenAI's recent advancements with the O3 model have turned heads across the AI community. The O3 model achieved something groundbreaking. It passed the ARC AGI test, a benchmark designed to evaluate whether an AI system has reached the level of reasoning and adaptability needed for artificial general intelligence, or AGI. To put it into perspective, this test isn't just about tasks AI systems are programmed for. It challenges them to solve problems that require logical thinking, abstract reasoning, and understanding patterns in new and unfamiliar situations. Humans typically score around 80% on this test, with a passing AGI threshold set at 85%. The high compute version of the O3 model scored 87.5%. For you, this number might sound small, but in the world of AI, it's massive. This result suggests that the line between narrow AI, which is specialized, and AGI, which can generalize knowledge like you do, has begun to blur. Sam Altman has stated that OpenAI now understands how to build AGI and is confident it can achieve this milestone by 2025. This isn't speculation, it's a calculated timeline based on how far models like O3 have come. For you, this means the kind of AI you've seen so far, whether helping you with tasks or generating creative ideas, is only the beginning. The O3 model's success shows that we are rapidly approaching a future where machines might truly think and learn like humans. With the O3 model's success, could AGI be right around the corner? 
Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI, is a huge leap from the AI you're familiar with today. Unlike narrow AI, which excels at specific tasks like recognizing faces or recommending songs, AGI can think, adapt, and learn in ways that are more like you. It can generalize knowledge, solve new problems, and understand concepts across a variety of domains. It's like moving from a single tool to something that could take on almost any challenge you throw at it. But what's next after AGI? That's where super intelligence comes in. Super intelligence goes beyond human cognitive abilities, excelling in every domain, reasoning, creativity, and even social intelligence. Think about it. AI systems capable of solving problems that you or even the smartest people alive couldn't begin to tackle. Sam Altman envisions super intelligence as a tool to amplify human potential. In his view, it's not about replacing your capabilities, but making breakthroughs in science, medicine, and technology that would have taken lifetimes to achieve. The shift from AGI to super intelligence is more than a technical upgrade. It's a philosophical turning point. What happens when AI stops simply assisting you and starts driving discoveries on its own? Early research shows AI could hypothesize, test, and iterate on theories without human input. OpenAI is actively exploring this path, aiming to unlock possibilities we can only begin to understand today. The journey doesn't stop at AGI. Superintelligence takes things to a whole new level. The singularity comes with immense risks, particularly during what experts call the takeoff phase. This is the point when AI systems can start improving themselves without human intervention. There are two scenarios here. A slow takeoff means progress happens gradually, allowing humanity some breathing room to adapt, establish safeguards, and learn how to manage these advanced systems. But a fast takeoff? That's a whole different story. AI advancements could snowball at an uncontrollable pace, leaving us struggling to maintain oversight or implement safety measures in time. Ethical concerns dominate this conversation. How do you align a super intelligent AI with human values when it can surpass your understanding? That's why global coordination is crucial. Without it, different groups could rush to deploy advanced AI systems without proper safety checks, leading to catastrophic outcomes. Then there's the deeper, almost unsettling idea Altman has raised. The possibility that we're already living in a simulation if AI eventually creates fully immersive simulated worlds, it opens questions about your current reality. What if humanity builds something so advanced it mirrors the universe you already exist in? These risks, both practical and philosophical, remind you that the singularity is not just a technical milestone, it's a crossroads for the future of life itself. How prepared are we for the challenges and dangers that come with this? By 2025, AI agents could become a significant part of the workforce, transforming how industries operate. These agents won't stop at repetitive tasks. They'll take on roles requiring creativity, problem solving, and adaptability, fields you might never expect AI to enter. Imagine research projects driven by AI, policies drafted with machine precision, or logistics optimized in real time for entire industries. This shift could create an era of unparalleled productivity, but it also raises tough questions. The job market won't look the same. While AI boosts efficiency, it could replace roles humans once held, leading to economic shifts that affect millions. How do you prepare for a world where machines compete with you intellectually, not just physically? The ethical dilemmas around fairness and access to opportunities will be hard to ignore. On a deeper level, the psychological and emotional effects of this transformation could redefine what it means to be human. Sharing intellectual spaces with AI capable of thinking and creating challenges your sense of uniqueness. How will society adapt to machines taking on tasks you once considered exclusively yours? These changes aren't decades away. They're unfolding now, and they're reshaping the very foundation of how you work, live, and think. As AI reshapes industries and creativity, what does it mean for your future? OpenAI's journey to advanced AI hasn't been without hurdles. Developing cutting-edge models requires immense computational power, demanding resources that push the limits of current technology. This challenge is compounded by financial pressures as OpenAI works to sustain its ambitious goals. 
Despite offering subscription services like ChatGPT Pro, profitability remains elusive, pushing the company to explore enterprise-level solutions to fund its breakthroughs. Leadership and governance have also been tested. Sam Altman's 2023 governance crisis, where he was briefly ousted as CEO, highlighted the complexities of steering an organization at the forefront of AI development. Yet through these challenges, Altman remains optimistic. He envisions a future where AI leads to unprecedented abundance and opportunity, but he's equally aware of the risks. His approach emphasizes the need for global collaboration to ensure innovation progresses safely, balancing the potential for progress with the responsibility to avoid catastrophic outcomes. Balancing hope and caution, Altman's vision drives the conversation forward. So do you think humanity is ready for a future shaped by superintelligent AI? Let us know in the comments what excites or worries you most about the singularity. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss our latest insights.